Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about the ZVE10 along with the DJI wireless mic. I am really liking this ZVE10 with the wireless mic. It really is complementary to the whole situation here. It fits on this small rig and this small rig has a cold shoe right here. Fits a little bit loose so I had to put a piece of felt in there to uh, tighten up the groove a little bit but that worked out fine. So, if you see, it just looks like it belongs on there. It's just the same width as the camera. It's a small size. It works good on the gimbal. And you have the capability to mic up a couple people if you're doing an interview, which I really liked about that. It really is a nice setup. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about the handle the rocker, zoom rocker, control, remote control, handle, tripod that comes with the Sony ZV-E10. Comes in the blogger kit. I think it was worth it. It was my choice. It may not be worth it for you. And when you see what I got to talk about here today, we are talking about the size of it next to the Crane M3. So the Crane M3 and this Sony remote control handle are the same basic footprint they have the same basic size and the crane m3 has some powerful motors on there which control the camera really well i'm really liking that and there is some advantages to having both of these so one of the advantages to having both of these is you can use the quarter 20 mount to go in the bottom of the DJ, of the crane m3 i'm DJI oriented here. So now, now you have rock, all full control of your camera from the bottom of the gimbal and you have dual hand support. And that's just the beginning of it. You also have the tripod. You can fold out the feet just like you could with the tripod that comes with the Crane M3. But there is a side quarter 20. And this side quarter 20 gives you the ability to grip this with both hands from two different angles which gives you some more stability so if you just use this quarter 20 to to put that in like that let me turn this around here this is also there is a button on the on the sony to uh, turn it around okay so there we go so now you can adjust this however you like to give yourself very stable holding very stable support of the gimbal however you like to do it if you like the one hand or if you like to use it vertically like this or if you want to come out from the side plus you control your camera however you want and it gives you it gives my hands are big so my thumb is should would really be good for a rocker as a um, joystick up here but this one when my hands are around it I really don't have a good position on the joystick. So it gives you, you can release when you have both on there and you can take more control of the joystick if that's what you like to use. Now most of the time I don't use that. So when you're looking at the two together, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're looking at the two together, the vlogger kit handle with the built-in tripod or the Crane M3, and let's see if I can get this into frame. This is a DJI OM4. Size-wise, very similar. Very, very similar. And let's flip this around. Put the two, the DJI and the OM4 together. And I'm hoping that's in frame. And there you are. Now, the OM4 came with this tripod set up. The... Crane M3 came with this little tripod setup. Please pardon the GX85 focusing. I will be changing to starting to use the Sony. I'll be glad to get to use that. So here is the tripod setup for the vlogging kit. And it looks very well. Like it'll get the job done. Now, when it comes to the Crane M3, they have this bracket. 
This is not the, the, the bracket that you really want. The bracket that you really want will allow you to change the battery in the ZVE-10 without dismounting it from the gimbal. So I picked up the Crane M3 for $250 on sale. There's, it's, the normal markdown is now $279, but the, the RS3 Mini, it is $379. So you're talking $100 extra for the DJI. And there's some very good little little quirks to the DJI like adjustments. I think it has fine tuning for the for the micro adjustments that this you're going to fiddle with. I guarantee as you're getting you used to this, you're going to fiddle with it to get it moved and balanced. But once you get it balanced, you only have to deal with one one adjustment when you take it out of the case. Now, it's in the folded up version model um, position right now. And then you would have to move this out. So all in all, for a hundred and some odd dollars, I will put up with this little plate. Actually turns out that once you get the camera set up, you can put your ZBE-10 on and off of here with very small micro adjustment afterwards. So you can take it off and change your battery. It's not the thing you really want to do, but you can get it done for saving the hundred dollars now i'm all for getting things and uh, being more useful if it's if you know if i have the money to purchase that sort of thing but what i found between the dji om4 and the smooth q that i had the smooth q was 90 99 dollars i believe it was a hundred dollars but this om4 i always wanted the dji it's it seems to be better built better quality and but there is a dead movement adjustment i believe on the crane m3 that it, they call it the dead pan and it's too excessive for me on this one i really miss the d the i really miss the smooth cue when you twist your wrist it works a lot it worked a lot better for me and there was a lot of in the app a lot of micro adjustments on the smooth cue that I don't find on this OM4. And I know that I know they already have the OM6, but I'm just saying that there were some things that Zion does better than DJI, and some things that DJI does better than the Crane M3 Zion. So, you know, it is what it is. All in all, everybody has to make their own choices because it's your own money and what things that are important to you, what's better, um, what fits your needs better. But I just wanted to get this out here and show you what I came up with, show you the size difference between the two. And I'm, I'm been studying every day to try to get better shots with this. I'll catch you on the next one. Please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.